Hey, welcome to my channel once more. I'm your girl Marlisa, aka Teresa, and today I'll be making a very simple dish for you. I'm doing some brown stew chicken, um, my style, of course, and I'm gonna be making some pumpkin rice. All right. So over here, I already wash and cut the chicken to my perfection, and here is my pumpkin all uh, washed, and I'm going to be cooking, um, grazing these and cooking them. So stick around and you'll see. All right. So the pumpkin already washed and I have my good old Jamaican grater. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be grazing the pumpkin while over there I have the oil on the stove heating up, um, ready to drop my chicken in. But before I go any further, I want to say thank you to the person who donated my wonderful tripod. I must say I thank you dearly. Um, the person wishes to be anonymous, so I'm not going to call any name. And I want to say thank you to my dear friend, Andre Walfall, who donated some dish towels. And um, all gifts are welcome. I thank you. I appreciate you. So while I'm saying thanks, I want you to give me some love by giving me a thumbs up and dropping a comment down below and let me know what you think of my meal. Or DM me on Instagram. I appreciate you. So I'm just going to finish doing this and off camera and then I'll put it in my pot with water for the pumpkin rice. So here we go guys. I um, already grated the pumpkin so and I put some water on it so I'm going to put it on the stove and have it going. Okay? The oil is still heating up over here. So I'm just waiting on the oil to be extremely hot to drop my chicken in. So there you go. All right. While the pumpkin is being cooked, I'm just gonna drop some pimento seeds in it, about four or five, and just leave it there to cook in a little bit of adobo seasoning. So I'm putting one teaspoon of aloe seasoning, or you can use salt if that's what you prefer. So my oil is not hot, so I'm just gonna put my chicken in. So once the chicken gathers some color like this, this is dark color, then you're going to remove them from the pot. So this is what we're looking for, a little bit of color. You're not going to fry them too dry, you just want them to have a little brown color because we don't like them when they are white. So we're going to remove the pot and let the remainder of the chicken um, catch its color, its natural color. And then we're going to remove the dough and um, transfer into another pot. So, off camera, I went ahead and I washed my rice and I'm ready to now to add it to the pumpkin that is now boiling. So I'm adding the rice bit by bit. 
and then we're going to stir this in and then we're going to leave it to cook and um, we'll be checking on the rice from time to time because we don't want it to itch the pot we're going to add a little butter so the chicken are all ready so what I'm going to do now I'm going to remove them from, uh, from the frying pot and transfer them to another pot and then I'm going to be adding some water so I'm going to take away this pot But before I go, I'm going to be putting some of the oil that I use to fry the chicken into this pot. I'm going to be adding the chicken to this pot now and I'm going to be putting in my onion, my scallion, my thyme, so you'll see what I'm doing. So I went ahead and I added, I cut um, some sweet pepper, red and green and I cut my onion and I'm going to add them to the pot with some water. To this mixture now you can add your carrot, you can add your Irish potato or whatever vegetables that you like but I just like Irish potato so I'm just gonna peel one and add it to my pot. So I need a little variety. So I went ahead and I washed some potatoes and, I'm, and I cooked them and I'm now I'm gonna peel them and do some mashed potato to go along with my very own brown stew chicken. So to my potatoes that I peel, uh, I, I didn't have one of those fancy things that you use to smash the potatoes. So what I'm using is good old Jamaican fork. Alright, so I'm pressing them out. Don't take a lot of work. You just, you just use the fork and you just press against them. And because they are well cooked, they are going to be easily smashed out. So to this I add a little piece of butter. And I'm going to add a little bit of mayonnaise just for smoothness. Um, a lot of people like their potato with chunks and some like it very smooth. So it depends on how you want it done. You can add a little bit of milk or you can just do it as this. So um, I'm just using mayonnaise and butter and just smash it all. I don't want it to be extra smooth. I just want it to be a little bit chunky. All right. So after some time I went and I checked the rice. See how beautiful and chilly the rice is. This is what we're looking for. So we can safely say that the rice, that the rice is well cooked. See? So we're just gonna cover this now and leave it until the chicken is ready. So we're gonna turn the flame off. So see our chicken gravy is nicely made. So we can safely say that the chicken is cooked. So I'm gonna remove the heat and look at my potato right here. It is all mash. So there you have it, mashed potato. And the chicken right here is ready. So we remove the heat and I'm gonna plate this for you. So there you have it, pumpkin rice, mashed potato, and my very own bone stew chicken. Um, I don't know if you can see, so let me give you a close-up. Mashed potato is on point very well flavored because the butter and the mayonnaise add a very nice texture to it and its own flavor 
and here we have it the rice is extremely chilly this is awesome the only thing I want to say is that the pumpkin wasn't that ghetto so it didn't give you that rich yellow look but all in all the taste is awesome so once again give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done so and drop a comment down below and let me know what you think of this meal also prepare this meal and send me a picture on instagram you can find me at marlisa's kitchen also thank you for watching see you next time with another awesome video